I'd like to just share a couple of experiences with Help Honduras. The first year, we started a student NGO to fight poverty and do microcredit in Honduras and Central America. Uh, one of the favorite experiences I had there was when I was down there. We went to a meeting of a group of women who we were going to provide micro loans to. They were, these were going to be hundred dollar loans to poor women in shanties who had two, three, four, five children. No employment. Some had been abandoned by husbands. Others tried to grow a little bit of vegetables in their gardens outside their shacks and shanties. And uh, we had trained this group of about 15 or 20 women in the principles of becoming a micro-entrepreneur. How to start a small business. What is a loan? What is principle on a loan? What is interest on a loan? How do you pay back a loan? How do you market your little product? How do you develop some viable business that has legs under it? That they can begin with a loan, pay the loan off, grow that business, maybe receive a second or third micro loan, larger amounts of capital, and hire other people. And I just remember going to the graduation of this one group, and we celebrated. We took Coca-Cola and orange drinks. We took some balloons. They had some music. We celebrated. We had several people give speeches. They'd organized themselves. They had a president. They had a vice president that they had elected and a treasurer to count the money as they pay it back and a secretary to keep track of who shows up to the weekly meetings. And so we were all excited and they were very nervous but also very excited. And, and eventually it came time to give the first loan. And I was asked because I had just come there to say a few remarks and give the first loan to the leader of the group. And so I made some comments about their pioneers. They're, they're beginning a new journey for the future of their children. This is so exciting. They have new skills, they have a new vision of what they can do, they have a mission in their lives, and now they also have some confidence that they can do this work. And I called up Maria, the leader of the group, and she started to stand up and then she plopped back down and said, oh no, I can't do this. And so the group said to her, no Maria, come on, it's your turn. You're our representative, you're our leader. You get the first loan. And she started crying and sobbing and then laughing and being kind of embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I hadn't been prepared for this. I didn't want to offend her. I was worried what we were doing. And eventually I went back through the crowd to get her and shook her hand and said, come on up here with me. Let's do this. You can be a great example to everybody else. And she got up there in front of the group and I proudly announced what her business was going to be and that she was receiving the first loan for this village bank group, this Caja uh, de los Pobres, this Organización uh, de Microempresa. And when I asked her if she would accept the loan, the third time she said, I don't think I can. I've never seen a hundred dollars and I said, well, you have now. Here are, are the monies. And she says, oh, I, it's too overwhelming. Senor, I am just a poor Indian woman. I am not worth a hundred dollars. And at that point, the team and I got tears in our eyes as we thought about this strong indigenous mother of five who had spent 35 years of her life trying to make an existence for herself and her family, and she's not feeling enough dignity that she's worth $100. So that taught me a great lesson that day, that these tiny microloans aren't just about capital. They're not just about jobs. They're about empowering women, helping them develop a sense of social capital as well as financial capital. 
empowering them so that they began to feel dignity as women, as mothers, as wives, as entrepreneurs in their communities, in their neighborhoods, among their friends, and in the larger society. And that, to me, is one of the great powers of these micro-enterprise loans. And Maria did finally take the loan. She did finally smile. She did sign her name saying, yes, I accept it. I will pay it back over four months with $10 interest from that four months. And she became a very successful mother and bank leader and entrepreneur.